The experiences that I gained uh, over almost six years of active duty, uh, both uh, first as a submarine officer in the fleet uh, at sea, the, the challenges and the sacrifices that uh, our men and women have to make in the military uh, are, are those kinds of things that when you, when you walk into other parts of life, uh, make it really uh, something that people uh, feel like they can, uh, uh, they can lean back on and, and remember as something that, hey, I, I was part of something that I had to do without, be without family, sacrifice for, for a greater cause. And it really steeled my discipline and my focus on being able to really zero in on what's important and focusing on the, on the job and the mission. And I think that's really helped me throughout my more than 25 years in the civilian career of, of staying focused on the mission at hand, being able to, to uh, um, move away from distractions and focus on what really has to get done. I also think the, the issues that, uh, that are faced in the military Let's, let's face it, the work that I do involves more than 90,000 people in a, a more than $15 billion company. And in the military, you're dealing with those same kinds of people issues. They may be on different scales and in different circumstances, but you really learn how to work well and focus on the individual. I'm, I'm a, a big fan of a Teddy Roosevelt quote that, that really focuses on, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I learned that first uh, as a young naval officer in the military and I've tried to carry that forward in the, in the career that I've had since then. It really comes down to the people. I believe people are the key differentiators. I believe it's the people in the military that really drive our military to the, be, the, be not only the best on earth but the best that's ever been on earth and it's the, the, the training, the commitment and the development that they get that has really helped formulate and, and really steal the, the future of, of those young military uh, officers and enlisted personnel so that as they make the transition into a civilian career, they bring those key, those key traits and attributes with them and are extremely successful when they make the transition. Mm -hmm.